look at the front page stories um, here. We start with graphic, the daily graphic, because the Graphic News Plus app gives you an advantage over all the others. You get to see at first hand what's going to be on the news stands. And daily graphic this morning reports CSC no no. President Akufuado vows AMA unveils e Anansi library and engage employers on job security. Minister directs tripartite committee. Sabana Dosu is most outstanding teacher as females pick top awards. Congratulations to all the award winners there. Let's check out, uh, well, the Mirror newspaper came out over the weekend. What's it saying? The Mirror says, fibroid not caused by sex contraceptives. That's a doctor there, gynecologist. The Mirror holds cookout sessions for 2019 model mother. I remember that at the Oak Plaza Hotel. And you also met Dr. Juliana Oye Ame. She's a new CEO of the Trust Hospital. Women in powerful places. And I hear they do very, very well. Uh, uh, showbiz, okay. Graphic showbiz. Love from down under is deep. Okay, Adina. Kelvin Boy will survive. Tale of the green eyed monster. And secular musicians all the way. No more collabo with Gov, uh, Gospel Act, says Joyce Blessing. So if you, if you download the Graphic News uh, Plus application, these are what you get. And you get the full paper, say all of it, the full paper, everything, right from the first page to the very final one. So I encourage you to go out there, subscribe to it, and make your life easier using technology. But also, the front page of the Daily Guide this morning, no gays, uh, it's a hoax, Nana says so, and help remove terrorist tag, Zane petitions, one killed as 60.5 million Ghana cities scatter on road, and Napo orders probe into UCC contract termination, five missing Takradi girls. The Ghanaian Times, Two one district one factories near completion to start production by December. Government to pay 80% debt owed contractors by end of November 2019. And six perish in gory accident at Sege. Three female teachers sweep teacher awards. The final newspaper. Cabinet rejected new CSE. It failed cultural sensitivity test. That's President Kofado speaking. Female Teachers Top 2019 Ghana Teacher Prize Event. And 96% of Ghanaians reject homosexuality. Pew Research Center. Dr. Awa attacks businesses to constantly innovate to remain competitive. And finally, the BNFT says, Cocoa Board to distribute 78 million cocoa seedlings in 2019-2020 crop season. And for every CD collected in tax, 84 pesos goes to pay some debt. Expert says, uh, let's have a comprehensive tax reform so that we can solve these problems. My guest in the studio, the Honorable Andu Ejapamesa. He's the member of parliament for second D, and he speaks on behalf of the NPP Council. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you. Good morning. I'm good. Okay. So also with us is lawyer Sami Jemfi. He's the National Communications Director of the NDC. Sam, welcome. How are you doing? It's been a while. Well, it's been a long time. Let's start from Takradi. Uh, uh, Bobo, the status of the girls, what's, what's the latest you want to share? Well, good morning. A new uh, good set. morning to Sami Jemfi, uh, chair viewers, and uh, those uh, of us watching us from home. Uh, I understand, just coming into your studio, that three of them have actually been found. Exactly. The police uh, um, put out that release. That's, that's good news. Uh, I'm only hopeful that uh, the other two would also be found quickly, expeditiously, so that they can reunite them with their family. Mm -hmm. We cannot go through another cycle of missing girls in Takradi, who just barely had a situation with one, which unfortunately mm -hmm. ended up being the case that the girls had okay. been killed. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, when I heard the news on Friday, I was pretty disturbed and worried. Uh, but thankfully, uh, it wasn't the case that they were actually you know, abducted or uh, kidnapped or anything, at least for the three they've been found and uh, so that's that's good news yeah what, what is happening in Takradi which is why we keep hearing some of these messages or stories from there 
it, 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 it must be worrying for you, especially. It, it, it is, you know, and you really cannot put a finger to what it is that, you know, uh, of course, uh, if you look at the statistics that are available, uh, some incidents uh, happen in other places as well. Uh, and over the years, we've had incidents of kidnappings and, and, and all that. But Takrade seemed to be in the news, particularly with respect to the three, which became a huge topic uh, across the entire country. As so we're following on the heels of that, if news breaks that there's some five girls also who cannot be found, thankfully, we hear three have been found. And, and so that leaves two. Uh, it puts a certain impression that mm -hmm. there's some, you know, uh, uh, insecurity, if you like, mm -hmm. in, in Takrady. But I, I, I don't Is think that's, I don't think that that's the case at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't over the weekend, but I definitely will go uh, during the course of the week to finish some work that I need to. That, that's because you're a big man. You drive a four by four. You. Yes, uh, MP have a, uh, Johnny. You, you have certain privileges. You see me come. So you can you can get missing. You see me come into these premises mm -hmm. at least every time that I'm invited to appear on your show, mm -hmm. and uh, you see me come alone. Right. Uh, you see Sami Jinfi and all your guests who come to the studio come alone. Uh, it cannot be the case that you know uh, some sense of insecurity, mm -hmm. because otherwise we'll all be walking around with bodyguards. And as a member of parliament, I do not have any other privilege than ordinary citizens of this country mm. have. I'm an ordinary citizen as well who's just been elected by my people to represent their interests in, in parliament. Mm. And, and so that's, that's it. But okay. like I'm saying, I mean, uh, I know that usually when crime mm. uh, uh, rears its head, uh, we are want to do politics with it. And, 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 and then quickly, everybody has to pull statistics mm. to indicate that, look, but we all know crime, there are bad people in society. And that's why we have law enforcement agencies who are taxed and paid to apprehend people who fall foul of the law Prevention and is better bring than them. Cure. Absolutely. Uh, we all... So, so we shouldn't wait for the girls to go missing before we go find it. Uh, unfortunately, what some, if of we these things, find them? some of these things you can never predict. Mm. Security intelligence? Security intelligence can pick some, but can't pick all of it. Because otherwise, okay. there will never be a failure of security. Okay, Sammy, take, take a bite on this one. Uh, <laughs> okay, Johnny, first There's of all, There's a new set, me... but three have been found. Two more are yet to be found. Uh, let me say a very good morning to our cherished viewers. Um, and uh, admit that I have not really followed this matter, so mm. I intend to be very brief mm. on it. Um, the clearly, this warring trend mm. of kidnappings of little children, mm -hmm. Takrade to be specific, um, is, is very disturbing for people of this country. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother cannot deny the fact that currently the people in his constituency, the people in Takrade and his environs are living in a state of apprehension and fear. People do not feel safe, you know. He says uh, he feels safe. He can say that, but I'm saying that if he speaks to his constituents, mm. he speaks to the ordinary Ghanaian in, in, in the city of Takrade mm. and his environs, uh, they will tell him that they do not feel safe because of the um, increased speed mm. of kidnappings and violent crime, not only in Takrade, mm. but throughout the country in the last two and a half years. And I think that it behooves on the president, his officials, and our security agencies to stem the tide and to bring the situation under control. Right. We've all been speaking about this worrying phenomenon of insecurity mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny, things are not getting any better. Keep, things keep on worsening. And I can imagine what the parents of these two kids who have not been found are going through this morning. Uh, the uh, case of the four kidnapped Takrade girls, right. for me, is still unresolved. And there are so many unanswered you are, questions happy surrounding with, that. With I mean, the yeah. handling was so poor, the handling of the matter by the CID, mm -hmm. the police service in general, was so poor and shambolic. 
I think the government didn't show enough sensitivity. Government didn't show professionalism. The government didn't show that they cared about these children and their families, and, and by extension, the people of this country, in how it managed the situation. Uh, so uh, this is a whole subject that uh, requires time, uh, you know, to interrogate and dissect. What I can say is that the state of security in Ghana today is very bad. It is, it is getting worse by the day. But we have elected a government, and we have entrusted them with our security. We are paying so many ministers for the first time to ensure that we feel safe, we feel secured, just like we're promised I, at page 147 of I, the MPP. Ijapa says Minister. you walked in here on your own without no, but when you, guard. When so you, you, are, you are free, you are safe. That is a very uh, lame you know, excuse. When you go to, I'm sure that even when you go to Syria, Ordinary citizens walk without bodyguards. Is that to say that there is no insecurity in Syria? There is no insecurity in Afghanistan because citizens don't have the money to employ bodyguards. I don't think uh, he. I said. I think he said that in jest. Then we should. You're talking about the budget. Much. What did you find in the budget? What budget? You are talking about a page you found in a budget, a document. No, right this now. has to do with CSC. No, no, no. Right now, you are mentioning. No, not the budget. There are 2016 manifesto. Right. Okay. When, when they sought to blame. Uh, what they described then as a state of insecurity in 2016 mm -hmm. on President Mahama and didn't think that they were doing politics at the time. Today, my brother says security is not a political matter. Well, I disagree. Wherever you go in the world, mm -hmm. security is a political matter. And that is why the responsibility shouldn't of ensuring... Shouldn't we be careful the, the level of politics we inject into... No, the then the president of... should not be described as the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. <laughs> Then the president should not be appointing a minister in charge of national security, a minister of state in charge of national security, a minister of interior, a minister of defense, with several deputies who are all being paid by the taxpayer. He should not be appointing district security coordinators, regional security coordinators like they have done, and all that. So if you have been given a responsibility, the people have every right to hold you accountable when you are failing. When we do so, and you describe that as politics, it is your own palaver. We, we, we don't care whether it is politics or it is not politics. What we care about is accountability. We deserve better. Because for the first time in the, this is the first government in the history of Ghana, which has appointed many, you know, appointees in charge of security that any other government has done. And it is said that to whom much is given, much is expected. Violent crime, whether you like it or not, is on the ascendancy. People do not feel safe. People do not feel secure. Okay. The insecurity is real. So I think that instead of you know uh, engaging in cheap equalization and rationalization and all that, you guys should st set up, step up to the plate, and nip this growing you know phenomenon of insecurity in the bad ones and for the, us the so that we can that, that get back to our narrative. quickly to rescue no the that's three. commendable the, the, the rescue of the three girls it's so commendable. it shows our security is working no it's commendable in this case but the fact still remains that two have not been found yet okay and I, I, like i said i've not really followed this latest matter mm. because it happened when i was not in the country okay but we will we will interrogate the issues further mm. and even go back to the case of the four kidnapped you know, the unresolved case of the four kidnapped hey, brother Bobo, girls. I saw you writing there something. There are still a lot of uh, questions that need answers. You see, yes, by all means, political one, one minute so that we can do uh, the president uh, yeah, CSE comment Political accountability form. is expected, and nobody is going to, you know, run away from that responsibility. Uh, I'm just saying that we may want to create our own distortions and invite everybody to debate it. Okay, and of course, what do you expect the NDC to be saying? You make references to the 2016 manifesto of the MPP. I can go back. But when we do that, he sitting here will say that we're doing equalization and needless rationalization. These are his words. But the fact of the matter is that we all live in this country. Okay? And if we live in a state of insecurity, I'll be worried. But I'm saying I'm not worried. Because, yes, crime exist and the state security agencies are taxed to ensure that people who fall foul of the law are brought to book thankfully this latest incident uh, we've got some resolution at least partial and my expectation is that the police will move quickly as they've done to ensure that the rest are also 
rescued and reunited with their families. Okay, thank you. The President of the Republic yesterday in, at the St. Cyprus Anglican Church in the Ashanti region spoke emphatically about the um, comprehensive sexuality education that take, took center stage in the uh, media landscape uh, last week. Well, take a listen to this brief report. When we return, we'll have a conversation with my panelists. For the past weeks, there have been discussions on the GES and government's alleged intention to introduce the Comprehensive Sexuality Education, CSE, in the country's educational system. Some Ghanaians, including faith-based and civil society organizations, say the introduction of the CSE was a subtle way of introducing LGBT rights in Ghana and called for a total withdrawal of the policy. During his visit to the St. Cyprian's Anglican Church in the Ashanti, to regional capital Kumasi, President Ekufo Adu explained the introduction of the free senior high school policy was to have an educated generation for the development of the country. He stressed his government will not promote any negative acts in the school curriculum. <laughs> Bishop of the Anglican Church Daniel Yen Kasafo urged Ghanaians to assist in the fight against corruption and poor sanitation. So that was it. Uh, the president saying there's no truth to it, it's just a hoax, and uh, forgets the propagandists and the lies there. Uh, Andrew, the this is the president now speaking, but over the past week, it is there, it is not there, it will come, it will not come. Now the president has spoken. Is that it? Absolutely. That's it. And uh, we will not see all CSE the propagandists come have in been another put to guise. Shame. People who took documents, mm. inserted their own, put pictures of adult content in some guidelines that had no pictures whatsoever mm. in there have been put to shame. You see, I, I worry, okay, and I always say this, there are several subject matters that we can do mm. politics with. Mm. And Sami may disagree because as far as I hear him say, Every subject is open for political. Fine. But there are issues that bother, has no political coloration. Education is one of it. Our cultural values, norms. No snow MPP or MDC. So when matters of this nature come up, we ought to deal with the facts. Did, did you set up yourselves? For that kind of opportunity, so in in February or maybe January this year, uh, the Honourable Minister for Education spoke with policymakers, and he made a statement suggesting that by September this will take effect. September comes, then a document resurfaces or comes into the public domain, and everybody is asking questions. Christian Council is against it. Catholic Bishop Conference against the civil society. Everybody's talking. And then the minister says, well, that was not it. Now the president has spoken. In between the conversation and the implementation of a policy or even to suggest the same, did you set yourself up for that kind of Not at all. Mischief makers entered the fray. Okay. And they make references to budget. Mm. They make references to the statements that the um, education minister made in February. Right. Were they wrong? No. Those mm. were facts. They happened. Mm. Conversations were ongoing. Mm. But where I say mischief, mischief makers entered the fray is that you ought to look at the curricula that was approved. Okay. The 12 subject areas that were approved mm. for implementation under the new standards bid curricula that started in September. Did it include CSE? You didn't so see that's why it's page 11 is being quoted. You have not seen page it. Page 11 of what? 
of, of these guidelines that is being of, given. of the guidelines. Mm. But NACA has told us that this document has not been approved. Okay. So when the president spoke yesterday, mm. he was consistent. Yes, the Ministry of Education have had some engagement with stakeholders mm. with the view to implementing comprehensive sexuality education in September 2019. Mm. That document or that process goes okay. through an approval process, mm. including cabinet. Mm. So when it gets to cabinet and cabinet rejects it, like the president confirmed yesterday, and it doesn't find its way into the 2019 curricula that is being implemented, that we've seen mm. on the NACA website. Where, where does the mischief come from? When, when a minister of state speaks, he speaks on behalf of cabinet. He speaks a government policy decision. So when Napo spoke earlier in February, certainly he must have has had, had his he, leg on a stone to say, we're going to stone you. Johnny, documents... Policy proposals go through an evolutionary process. Okay. Somebody originates it, submits it for review, goes to cabinet for approval. Before, if it requires parliamentary approval, then it goes to parliament, mm -hmm. then the implementation. If it doesn't require a parliamentary approval, then when cabinet approves it, then it becomes formal policy. Mm -hmm. But if it hasn't gone through that process, but conversations have taken place with a view to implement it at a certain point in the future. Mm. It stops at cabinet when it either is approved or rejected. And the money wasted to print the guidelines, but to develop you, it. You, you see, w how, how do you say money is wasted? Is money not wasted? It's a process that ought to start at a certain point that would require some investments being either with time or resources and, and, and to the, develop and, and the people who are putting the guidelines together didn't think of our cultural sensitivity test as the president puts it but now you see the these, are, these are technocrats no who are supposed to know better naka has indicated to us mm. that even these guidelines hasn't got content because the guidelines are formulated naka then reviews okay before content is developed and approved but the guidelines that will process guide the has not issue. been completed in any event. You mm. see, what was the issue really? The issue was that people said you are finding a subtle way to introduce lesbianism, bisexual, gay, and has transgender. It? Has lesbianism, LGBT, been introduced into our curricula? Has it? The curricula that was approved, mm. that is being implemented in our schools today. Does it include any of these subject matters? So what was the plan? But nobody is denying that mm. conversations were held in the past regarding the implementation of a global framework mm. for introduction of comprehensive sexuality education. Our, our it's hands, a fact. We've seen documents. Our, our hands tied as a, as a government. In any event, the guidelines themselves or the global framework that we've all seen mm. says that countries, when implementing this comprehensive sexuality education, are free, okay, to situate aspects of it within their cultural and traditional setting. Mm. So, Ministry of Education has indicated to us that, look, mm. all that consideration mm. was part of what they were going through before an approval would be given, if indeed an approval was given, before implementation. Confirm that process mm. was truncated because Government rejected the proposals that were contained in the guidance. So, so conf but what co happened? Confirm this for me. There, there's a public perception out there that you have only taken it out because of the pressure, and that when nobody is looking, we'll but find, Johnny, we'll find when another was it way to, to push it there. When was it taken out? Mm. When? When was it taken out? And when did the pressure begin? Mm. At the time that the pressure or that matter came to the public. I mean, a front banner for public discussion. Mm -hmm. It was not part of the approved curricula, was it? But yes, documents exist. And the Minister of Education indicated that, look, these conversations at the launch of the O3 program in February, mm -hmm. and even in the budget, it was programmed that during the year, this was what the ministry was going to do. Some members of the... But 
Some okay. members of the NDCC have gone to collect $22 million. So you, you have to do it at all costs. Is that correct? You see... Have you, have you collected money? Has the government sad. collected money? I'm not aware. Okay. But assuming that government has collected money, to do what? To, to do what? To ensure that CSE comes uh, to light? It's CSE, and, and I'm not speaking for whether indeed the allegation by the NDC is mm. true or false, because I don't have that information. But I'm asking you a question. What is offensive to the people of Ghana? Is it comprehensive sexuality education mm. or uh, simplicity? Or comprehensive sexuality education that seeks mm. to introduce LGBT into, uh, 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 I mean, the acceptability of LGBT within, within our educational system? What do you think? I think that is the subtle attempt, mm. if indeed that was the case, to introduce LGBT mm. acceptability mm. that people had problems with. But comprehensive sexuality education is being taught in our schools today. When, when the, the, the guideline says open-mindedness... That's why I say that it is those aspects mm. that are offensive to the Ghanaian people. But it was in the guideline. But the guidelines have not been approved. Did somebody sneak in it in there? No, I'm not saying that the guidelines is not in the guidelines. It's in the guidelines, but did, it has guidelines been approved. Did somebody sneak it in there? Nobody sneaked it in there. But has it been approved? Okay, thank you. Sam... The president says, no, 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 this will not happen under me. Uh, I'm a Christian, I'm an Anglican, um, I know what is good for us. And so forget about the propaganda, the hoax, and everything else. We're staying focused. What do you say? Johnny, thank you for this opportunity. You know, this issue of CSC mm. is a very serious and an important subject because it borders on the education of our children mm -hmm. and by extension, the future of Ghana. So I intend to deal with it dispassionately and comprehensively. Uh, first of all, let me state that I, Sami Jemfi, mm -hmm. and the National Democratic Congress that I speak for, mm -hmm. share the position of the chief imam of Ghana, the Pentecostal and charismatic uh, Christian Association of Ghana, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, mm -hmm. the position of the Christian Council Catholic Bishop Conference on this matter mm -hmm. to the effect that this comprehensive sexuality education which is being pursued by the Kufuado government mm -hmm. is satanic. It is demonic. It is reprehensible mm -hmm. because it affronts not only our culture, our norms and our values as a people, mm -hmm. but even our laws and must be rejected by all Ghanaians irrespective of our political, religious, or social affiliation. I share that position. What our children need is quality education in science and in technology, and in subjects that can improve their lives and impact society positively, and not in this satanic so-called comprehensive sexuality what, what education. Is, what is wrong with what is... I will, I will talk about that. I will talk about it. And you see, I think that President Ekufuado and the MPP must credit Ghanaians with some intelligence. You think they don't? Because, you see, the damage control the president sought to do yesterday is not only a poor attempt at defending the indefensible, mm -hmm. but it is an insult to our intelligence. And the MPP must be told that they are not the only literates in Ghana. They are not the only people who can read English and understand. They are not the only people who can comprehend the content of these guidelines. They don't know better than our pastors and the chief imam. In any case, who was President Ekufado describing as, as lies? Who was he describing as lies? Is it the chief imam? Or the Christian council? Or the Cali Bishop Conference? And all these stakeholders who have spoken on this matter that this CSC is a subtle attempt to inculcate in our children an acceptance and tolerance for LGBT. The president says that's not correct. Okay, so let us interrogate what the president is saying mm -hmm. because you know that President Kufuado is very dishonest. For me, no, no, you, you he, can, you can, so, I, I will so, say that he's very dishonest so, and I'll show so, you why he's down, being very down, dishonest. You see, if President Kufuado was honest, mm -hmm. And that's what he says. Ghana will be like paradise today. He cannot be taken at his word. 
what he sought to do yesterday was to peddle falsehood. Who says in that? The church? Hold on. Who says that? The, I mean, and that is why this falsehood is even sacrilegious. They don't even fear God. You understand? Who, who said that these guidelines have not been approved? So, guidelines have not been approved. And yet, training programs and workshops have been organized by the Ghana Education Service under the auspices of the Ministry of Education for teachers of trainers. This is a training program which was organized between the period of 26th to the 30th of August 2019 okay. in Kumasi KNUSC. I'm sure you are very much aware of right. this. Mm. This is the training brochure. Already, teachers are being trained on comprehensive sexuality education. And you are here telling us that it's a, it has not been approved. Why will you train somebody on something that you are saying that you are here to approve? You think we are zombies? Bobo, hold on, hold on. Bobo, Bobo says it's already been taught, but the elements where you suggest that there's an no. LGBT see, agenda they cannot be approved. On one breath, you are saying no CSE under me. In another breath, you are talking about elements. Mm. Have you hold seen on. The if you go to the Ghana Education uh, Service, uh, Bobo, not, not, if you go to the website of the Ghana Education Service today, this guideline is there. What the president, the president never said that these guidelines have not been approved. What he said was that mm. when the matter came before cabinet, mm. they directed that a certain sentence should be inserted in the guidelines. Mm. That the course will be taught in consonance with the traditions, the culture, and the values of right. the NES. That is all. And what's wrong with that? Hold on. But that does not negate mm. the concerns that all these stakeholders have raised. Hold on. You see, I want to first of all establish that the issue or the, the argument that these guidelines have not been approved is a non-starter. Because number one, these guidelines and the comprehensive sexuality education subject has been incorporated in the 2019 English and Ghanaian language curriculum, contrary to the assertions of MESA. And I have it on my phone. I can prove it to you. You've seen the curricula, Ghanaian language, page four, it is there. Page eight, it is there. So you, are, you people are telling blatant lies when you say that it is not in the curricula. If you have not approved something, why will it be in the curricula? It, it, is, Number there, one, it is there in if what form? It is there in what form? It is there that teachers must teach comprehensive sexuality education. Mm. I'm sure you've seen it. You understand? Right. It is there. Mm. I can show you the video. I have the document here. Both in English, both in Ghanaian language. So you have Number no reason two, to believe the president. Uh, jo Johnny. Number two, it is, they are also training teachers on that. And they've not just had one training program. They have had several training programs. The, the Johnny, minister says the 152,000 teachers who were trained were not trained on this. Masa, the resource pack, which was given to them at page 8, page 11, page 180, you've read it on the show. I watched you when I was in the UK reading that, making reference to that, made reference to that. If Ghana was a serious country, Napo should have resigned by now because he has no integrity, he has no credibility. Oh, wow. He's been lying. Slow he down. told us Slow that down. this was not in the resource pack, yet it is at page 8, page 11, and page 180 of the resource pack, which was used to train teachers. It has been captured at page 86, paragraph 369 mm. of the 2019 budget, true or false. Teachers have been trained on it. It has been incorporated in the curricula. Mm. So, I mean... The Bo only Bo hold on. Bo Bobo mentions a 2015 Johnny, document. Johnny, I, I, I have. I, I, I let you I don't, progress. Hold on, I don't want. I, my, I have a presentation to make. Slow, I'm slow, not here slow, to respond. Some, to some you. Slow down so you just allow me to flow, some and I'll come down. to the issues you raised. Only one question here. You don't want to answer. No problem. So the 2015 document that Bobo is referring to, which mentions these things, uh, what do you say to that? that Did you see you? that? government of President Mahama in 2015 or 2016 incorporate comprehensive sexuality education in our budget? Did you see us incorporate it in any curriculum? Did you see teachers being trained on comprehensive sexuality education? What are we talking about here? This is their own creation. That is why I okay. say I don't want to spend let's, time on let's, that. Let's move forward. Now, you, they you say may that... You have to be wrapping up for me. Oh, please. Please. Some seven minutes. Now, he says that there is no LGBT in the guidelines we are talking about, yet the objectives of these guidelines are very clear. You are going to teach our children, kindergarten school children, primary school children, mm. children as young as four years, five years, six years, on what? Sexual rights. Do you know the meaning of sexual rights? Sexual rights is about freedom to engage in sexual activity of your choice. 
You are going to teach them to be non-judgmental about mm. people's sexual orientation. In other words, you are going to teach them that it is okay to be a gay. There is nothing wrong with that. Don't be judgmental. It is age appropriate. It is, hold on. Ah, for, for which, which classes of children? Four years, six years, seven years. You are going to tell them that don't be judgmental about lesbianism. There is nothing wrong with that. Gayism, there is nothing wrong with that. And you are saying that there are no LGBT elements in this document. Do they sometimes listen to themselves when they talk? And then the, over this weekend, I heard my own senior brother, Malik Kwekubako, offer a very flimsy excuse for this whole thing. Now, though we, we are not telling them to go and be gays. We are only inculcating in them um, tolerance for gayism and LGBT because we don't want them to resort to mob justice of those who engage in that. I said, ah, have you forgotten? that LGBT is a crime in Ghana, and that our criminal offenses act frowns on unnatural canal knowledge. Mm. So LGBT is like armed robbery in Ghana. They are all criminal offenses. If you cannot teach children to tolerate armed robbery mm. just because you don't want the mob justice of those who engage in armed robbery, you cannot therefore teach children to tolerate LGBT because they are all criminal if, offenses. If you belong to an international league of nations and they are all going a certain direction, what do you do? Is Kenya not a member of the United Nations? Why can't they go to Uhuru Kenyatta's Kenya? You see, the reason why we are here is because of President Ekufuado's endorsement for LGBT. Oh, how? This whole how? thing stems from his, his philosophy of homosexuality is bound to happen in Ghana, which he announced few years ago. That is why Ghana today is a fertile ground for LGBT advocacy. It is why not. can't they take this to Saudi Arabia? Why can't they take this to, to, to Somalia? Why can't they do that? Why okay. Ghana? But Sir, you see, you, you, you need you, to wrap you, up for me. You, let you, me wrap up. You've had time. Let me wrap up. It's, it's so, okay. number so, one, can take so number a one, the objectives are clear. He himself has considered that the objectives are problematic. These objectives have not been scrapped. If you go to the website of the Ghana Education Service, it's still there. It has been captured in the curricula. Teachers are being trained on it. It is not true that this CSE thing has been abandoned. All we are saying is that Ghana belongs to God. We don't care about the, the $22 million that you people have taken from the Swedish. Yes, there's no money. It is a fa oh, he says he's not aware of it. He can't speak right. to it. I am aware of it. And I am telling him he cannot dispute it. So who's that? They who's, have taken twenty-two the million dollars because they see President Kufuado as a man who says that homosexuality is bound to happen. So, so let us give him money. Whose money did we go and take? Swedish. The Swedish have okay. given us Swedish, uh, uh, Sweden, Ireland, and UNESCO have given us twenty-two million dollars, and we have promised them that we will implement this. If there is nothing wrong with CSE, how, let's, how, let's how, how did you know this? Hold on. How if did that, you know that we promised? Ah, that? I, I, I mean, the minority leader, when he presented the press conference last week, mm. quoted from that document because we have, we've intercepted the copy. Look, if there is nothing wrong with CSE, mm. apply common sense. Why would, if you don't believe Sami Genfi, at least, Johnny, mm. believe the president of the Cali Bishop Conference, who has told the public that at a meeting with the Minister of Education mm. some time ago, mm. this issue of CSE came up. The Minister of Education dismissed it. He said that CSE was an agenda by some external forces. Okay. Did the president of the Cali Bishop Conference say that or not? He said that Minister of Education, Napo, said that it was an agenda of some external forces mm -hmm. and pledged the commitment of President Ekufuado to reject it outrightly. Now, this... this, this Let, let's restore the message now. You said that you lied to him. Thank you. Sammy, that is what you've been doing. Sammy, thank you, you think we have all not read the documents? Sammy, thank you. Why will you be but, training but, 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 people on something you have not approved? But, but, and even incorporate it in your curriculum? Sammy, you think we are zombies thank in this you. country? Thank you very much. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Bobo will awesome. respond quickly, but uh, Crystal, we, we have some what are we hearing on, on WhatsApp? WhatsApp? Yes. Um, good morning, TV3. This government is ruling uh, the country like animal farms. Uh, in fact, they have nothing for the country apart from clearing. Hmm. This is from Kaka in Tamale. What are we hearing about the Tadi girls? This MPP government wants this case to go off, but God will surely expose them. Ruth from Ho says... Hmm. Uh, good morning, Mr. Host. The president and his appointees should give us a break. Ghanaians are tired of contaminated governors from, and this is from Echo Ifiakuma uh, in Ifiakuma Takwadi. Majid from Tamale says, "Good morning, TV3 Johnny. I really, I'm really enjoying your program, but every citizen in Ghana has to say no to CSE." Uh, <laughs> good morning to your panelists. So, what happens to the what happened to the bones that the um, Ghana Police Service claimed it was? Um, 
claimed were um, the girls after the DNA test. In fact, we rather need comprehensive police education, comprehensive sanitation education, and comprehensive agriculture education, not comprehensive co uh, sexuality education from Kenzie Blay. Put an importance on those. Good morning. Thank you for the great service. However, I think your panelists should not play politics with sensitive issues of natu national interest from Hassan. What did the then Akufuado say about Galamse when he wanted to come to power? And what has he done after getting in power? Do we have to believe him when he says the CSE would not happen under his regime, as Sanko in Santa Maria says? Uh, propaganda, every propaganda, everything will not win you 2020 um, election, propaganda everything will not win you 2020 election. Uh, this is from Sami Jemfi Yakubu from uh, Wa East. And the last comment for this morning uh, from John Nee Lance Van der Poy says the president has finally broken his silence on CSE. I must confess his comment was everything to write home about, but I'm afraid it won't cause us to leave. To heave a sigh of relief, I mean, this is not the first time we've experienced a talk shop where politicians simply pay lip service to issues without really addressing them. Our eyes are still on the ground anyway. Messi nah. in the studio. It's, it's very, very interesting, thank, the comments that are coming in. Thank you very morning. much. <laughs> from, from what? Yes. This is from uh, what? a story by Reuters okay. uh, titled Ghana Sex Education Program Sparks Anti LGBT Outreach. When, when was it published? Uh, it was published, I think, three days ago. The date everything ago. is okay. here. Mm -hmm. I'll forward it to you after I read it because it calls the UN Ghana rep. Mm. You know, on this matter. And you know that Ghana is implementing this satanic CSC program so in conjunction have with, we implemented the, it yet? With, with, with the CSC. Mm. Uh, people are being taught, teachers are being trained on it. Okay. They are giving some, very some, attractive allowances some, and all that. I'm sure you've some seen some that. Now, this me. is what the UN rep says mm. on whether or not LGBT, you know, uh, is part of this CSC we are talking about. He says, they think. I'm quoting him. They think it's all based on foreign influence. Mm. That's the issue. Said Ni Ujualapi, country representative for the UN Population Fund in Ghana, emphasizing that the curriculum was designed by Ghanaians. Now, quote, the curriculum does not include LGBT issues explicitly, mm. explicitly. Mm. But of course, LGBT issues are human rights. So we talk about the rights of the individual to, do, to determine what they want to do, mm. unquote. So you are going to teach our children that LGBT is your right and that you can engage in it without any interference okay. from your thank parents. You, thank you. And you are saying that there is, you. we Bo don't have Bo to be concerned. Bo Bo because let's, you know Bo better than the chief imam. You know better. You think that they are all liars. Bo Bo, let's, you let's you wrap know up. better than all these pastors. You, you, and you, all these you've heard something. Uh, unlike, unlike, let's wrap up quickly. Unlike so the can. NDC that have a pension for insulting elders of this country, including the Ashanti Hine and calling him a liar. We are not of that stock. Nobody has insulted I, I, I don't, look, I don't want to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. The only people Sabi, who Sabi, insulted Sabi, 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 you spoke as such a The only people who have insulted... Sabi, allow him to speak. Correct him. Okay, so... We are, we are not like Gabi Oche Dako and Anas Antony Oche Dako. Who issued a statement... Who were reprimanded okay. by O2 for from the to office of opinion, Mr. Mahama calling him disrespectful. A liar. It is only the cousins... The you see, you have presented Jeff, let, 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 let's, let's, uh, cousin, and that's we have had, we have had a nice who insulted or two Sami Yevi openly reprimanded. Sami Yevi, that slow is fact. Down, slow we down. have never insulted slow that. Bobo, to be fair to Bobo, he kept quiet when he was speaking. when he when he's this is so, a very so, delicate so, issue allow, you cannot I, I, allege I, I, that the ndc has insulted the for when this is a serious problem thank it's a very big thank you very much that Bobo, is not true please it's only gabby and anna said that unlike them what the president said you saw the pictures of the female and male genital organs that were being bandied about on social media that's a ppa ag document no i'm talking was it part of the guidelines was it the so-called guidelines that they are holding it as fetish, mm. which we have been told by state authorities that this document has not been approved. Mm. <laughs> they are holding it as fetish. And they sought to create a certain impression out there that children, five-year-olds, were going to be taught male and female genital organs. Mm. That was what the president was making reference to as the lies. The concerns that have come from the religious leaders. Mm. We are all concerned. You think I subscribe to LGBT? I don't. Because I don't see it as a human right. Mm. 
And look, you see, but you, people, you, you, people can, you cannot say that when, when Mr. President is a co-chair on the AU, uh, UN on the uh, <laughs> SDGs, you cannot say that. What, what, what has it got to do with you, the SDGs? Well, the president, what, has, what has LGBTs got to do with sustainable development goals? What it, has it got to do it with it? It is not embedded in it. Look, you see, it is not yesterday embedded, the president not was embedded categorical. In it. it is not embedded in it. The president there's, was there's human rights in there. I said I don't see LGBT as human rights. Okay. It's people's sexual preferences. But the UN says it is a human right. So what? And, okay. and the president... And so that becomes a Ghanaian policy. Look. Can, can the co-chair can the co-chair of the UN SDG... Uh, what has SDGs... Say, what say, has... So, Johnny, please, let's be serious and focused slow, on the slow, issue. Slow down. Yeah, slow down. Slow down. Please. What has sustainable to development goals mm. got to do with LGBT rights? Yesterday, the president was categorical, mm. assured the entirety of the people of this country okay. that this comprehensive sexuality education in the nature that is available on the internet mm. is not something that the government of this republic mm. is subscribing to. It is not going to be part of our curricula. It is not going to be taught to the Ghanaian children so long as he remains president he of never this said I, I, I thought he now, said he was to going to be teaching hold on. in the contest hold of on, he hold never on, said hold on hold on he but, never said hold on, I sorry, sorry, sorry. hold on I, I thought he said he, he was to going to me. he was going to introduce it uh, no. in the context no. of no. our but our, i said to you that in the manner that is being bandied no. about no. on the no. internet no. is not no. what is going to be happening under his watch okay wrap up i tell you don't do that our time is up. Look so at your people can't you give us even five minutes extension. All the time. Honorable, you spoke for ten minutes. I spoke to, for ten minutes. To to speak and, and as on a this power here. If you are actually speaking the truth, you're not you see, suggesting I've been unfair to you. You see, you no, let me let me come. Are, are you saying no, no, no? I'm not suggesting. Why, why are you calling him Bubu? He is called Honorable Mesa. Why are you doing that? Yes, family and friends. Johnny, let's leave it here. I so, leave it to the so judgment. So I can't be your friend. Judgment. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I leave it to the judgment of the good people. For me, for me, for me, that's what I want to say. I mean, I am comforted by His Excellency the President's assurance yesterday. Mm. This is not going to see the light of day in this country as long as he remains president. Mm. LGBT rights are not human rights within the Ghanaian context. Mm. And that that is exactly what is going to happen. And you see, I was going to make a point mm. that people make, and yesterday, we saw the Pew report, right. which says that 98% or 96% of Ghanaians oppose the introduction of LGBT in this country. Okay. Now, the president no, 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 no. in his Let's interview with Al Jazeera made the point that Sam, the NDC uh, seemed to be twisting. No, it's important I, I, I make this I, I, point. I, I, oh, you give me a second. Okay. Just one second. Okay. Because the president in his interview made a point that the NDC always seek to twist for their own political okay. interest. Okay. What did the president seem to say? He says, if the Ghanaian people okay, say that they want LGBT rights to be There must be any ifs. Master, you are wasting anything. Okay. You are wasting anything. Okay. 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 You are wasting anything. Okay. 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 Unfortunately for him, the president never said that LGBT is not a human right. You see, there is no CSC being taught in any part of the world that suggests that LGBT is not a human right. Because embedded at the core of CSC mm -hmm. is the doctrine of sexual rights which says that LGBT is a human right and that people of all ages can engage in it without any interferences. So, my brother, what you are saying is contrary to the evidence. Now, this is what I want to say in wrapping up. Actions, they say, speak louder than words, Johnny. It is not about what you say. It is not about what the president says. We know you people. You are liars. You cannot speak the truth. Oh, the truth of the matter is that you are already training teachers. 
you are you have already incorporated this satanic demonic okay. CSE in our curriculum. Thank you very much. If President, it has not been approved, why would you do that? Well, and the is the member of Nord Nord for the second year. It doesn't look as if you can't sit here and some JV is the National Communications Director of the NDC. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll take a break now. We'll take a some more action here. Happy birthday to Mrs. Harriet Hassan. It's your birthday today. We'll see you after the break. You want to bring Ghana is a serious.